Uh, rice recording. So, hi you guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm back with a new Muay Thai reaction, and you guys are telling me that I have to check this guy out as a must after we watch the the Iron Man, uh, Rotang, and Sang Shai, the King of Muay Thai. And this video is called The God of Muay Thai. So this this is it. Like this is the top. Like some, you guys have different opinions though. Uh, who is your favorite and where you rank them? But I mean, they all are crazy. So I have high expectations about this one. Bukhav, never heard of. But I'm not gonna ramble. Let's get straight into this video. Muay Thai reaction. <laughs> I had to take my hair out because this was killing my scalp. It was too tight with the ponytail. So and I was in the way too when I have it on. <laughs> so it's nothing. All right, I'm gonna stop talking about my hair. Let's see. The living Buak. legend, Buakhao Bushabe! The White Lotus Buakhao for Prima. Buakhao. A Muay Thai terror who reigned atop the kickboxing world for the better part of two decades. Woohoo! Wow, that was kind of crazy. You guys saw the combo? Yeah, he was done for You didn't need a third one. A hero to his people. Thailand! Shout out to Thailand. A movie star. Okay. An icon Sheesh. who struck fear into the hearts of his opponents. <laughs> Who racked up an who was that guy? Worldly 239 wins. 21 years experience, and yes, he's only 29. Wait, what? Hold on! It was a luck. And a testament to the power of determination. The wins with the, the age? White Lotus. Buakau. 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 I got chills already. Sheesh, this was the intro. Okay, okay. Pretty decent. Thailand. Yep. Birthplace of the art of eight limbs. Yep. Muay Thai. Yep. We know. Bukau began training at age seven. For poor children growing up in Thailand, joining a Muay Thai gym may be the only chance they've got for a better life. Yep. Competition is crazy. Children as young as seven are regularly paid to fight. Wow, really? starts early. The life of a Muay Thai. The thing is, a kid should be a kid, but yeah, they get paid. That's good. But you know. I fighter is one of complete oh, wow. dedication. Even as a child, he was training 10 hours a day. Wow, I got chills in my legs, you guys. Benjamin had his first fight at eight for their life. years of age. Like survival. Tons of experience. Able to take care of the family. The By the time he was grown, oh, his striking was second to none. To some, the 10 hour training schedule may seem like a hard lifestyle, yeah. but it is all that Buakau oh, has yeah. ever known. Mm. Good life. They know they can make it out with it. Ah, this is crazy though, I gotta focus. Oh. Yeah, look at that guy. Like, come on. In December, like Westerners, we don't got a chance to get fit. They just feel different from the start. No chance. Stadium. I said we are. Yeah, he's probably better than me too. Uh, the K1 World Grand Prix, mm -hmm. a one-night tournament, which pitted the best kickboxers from around the world against one another. This is uh, truly a great event. We got some of the biggest names here tonight. There's so many world class. I really did not expect to become the champion. I just wanted to represent my country, Thailand, with honor. Well, Buakau you did. Wasn't meant you to did both. In the Grand Prix. He was an I'm not even from Thailand. I'm proud. Alternate. 
and was called to replace the number one ranked Thai fighter. It's this green rookie's gotta listen first to taste beast. of fighting a champion. Buka was pitted against John Wayne Parr in his first match. Come on, John. It was the chance of a lifetime for the 21-year-old kid. I got no so much goosebumps in my legs. Shot. Like, he was just lucky to be there. Wow. Poor Gal wants to be using that tip kick. Front kick off the lead leg. It's taking the balls of the feet into the midsection. A very painful technique. John, 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 John. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. Or do you? Oh, okay. Gal who possesses some of the hardest leg kicks okay, Johnny in the boy. world. Uh, when he starts to it kick, it's over. It was a close match. Close? But still, John is so experienced and on older. And advanced to the next round. Well, certainly, uh, if Buka can uh, ma make an upset here, this is going to catapult him uh, right up the top of the ladder in the uh, world rankings. It's uh, going to be highly unlikely. Takeyuki was the second Japanese? best Japanese kickboxer of the time and the tremendous odds favorite. Is there any doubt here? Oh. In kickboxing, you can catch your opponent's leg and follow up with one strike, mm -hmm. but only one strike. Takayuki deliberately went for a second strike. Oh, you're not allowed to? A dirty move. Oh. Buakao was rightfully upset and responded how any proper legend would. You, you should not make the mad. By ragdolling Takayuki over and over. No, this is gonna be you guys don't understand. I got so much goosebumps in my legs and thighs. This is crazy. Raining knees and leg kicks. A blistering knee to the face sent the crowd into a frenzy. Oh, no, that was crazy. <laughs> Wow. He regret that. Wow. It was a statement win that had advanced Buakao to the final round. His third fight of the night, this time against the number one ranked kickboxer from Japan, Masato. Masato was the heavy favorite and expected to stamp out the brash upstart Buakao. With Buakau. the entirety of the martial arts world watching, Buakau seized his moment. Those kicks are deadly. The White Lotus attacked from the start. He dominated every moment of the fight. He saw what he did to his other country guy. Come on. Using teeps. Knees he and probably haven't slept. Those are big. He's been up all night studying. <laughs> I know it would fold up most people. He pushed Masato all over the ring. Oh, foot in the face! <laughs> nah, nah. This guy cannot respond. No counter. Nothing. Yeah, looking to uh, have slowed a little bit by the onslaught of the uh, the big shots that Bukhouse That's thrown. the Japanese fans. <laughs> Waka, it's a master of timing. <laughs> Great kicks, great He's power, silent. great speed as you can see right there. Nah, nah, you think you're getting up well, or not? Bukau certainly uh, brought the art of Muay Thai to the world with his superior fighting skills. When the final bell rang, Bukau erupted into celebration for what was certainly a yeah, victory. Yeah, he deserves it. Well deserved. Right? Well deserved. The judge's bias for their hometown Japanese star called the match a draw. What? If the match is a draw after three, they fight. I'm, a, I'm a noob! And I know that that was. 
Nah, corruption. Come on. The I mean, it is like that in sports, but that's favor. come on. That but was too obvious. Nothing but condemn him to an extra round of this. Uh, Bukow just probing. Nice round kick off the rear leg. He switches through. Bukow had fought three matches and eleven rounds in a single night. Come on, there you go. They get. They gave the Japanese uh, a disfavor. He don't want to continue getting beat up. Come on. And in the end, not even biased judges could keep nope. him from his destiny. Well, Bukow's a, a legend in the sport, of course. But I think the big discrimination thing that was he against some countries. I so feel like it's in all sports. See how good he was. Bukow was now the K1 Max champion. This is their arena. This is crazy. He returned home to showcase his new title, appearing on magazines and in TV shows. But That's never right. forgetting what got him to this particular place. Oh, this is where he's from? So he's not from Bang? Work. He trains in the old school way. Oh, where he's from? His is a body forged by nature. Perhaps the true strength of Muay Thai fighters. One makes one person a champion and the other one not. There's certain people that grow up with a tremendous hunger. When you grow up comfortably, that will produce a very balanced person, but it will not create the will and the determination and the hunger that you need to be the best in the world. This eternal proximity to nature has given him a simple appeal, an appeal which hasn't faded with his champion status. I feel bad for the trainer. Imagine having him kick the guy. <laughs> nah, this guy. Wow. Is a way of life for him. It is as natural as eating, as natural as breathing. It has been a part of his entire life. Just by watching that workout video, training video, I would not want to come up again. Came known as the best striker in the sport. He do not bend at all. He don't shake. He don't. He don't flinch. Nothing. It's like it's not even fair to come up against and him, but Muay Thai, it is. for whatever reason, I mean, you go to Muay Thai events and uh, they're rabid and it's like a very deep community of people that really understand and appreciate the sport. Yeah. And it's they'll culture. They'll play the Thai music their... and they wear the Mong Kong on their head. They, they bow to their trainer and they go out there and they have rolling elbows and smash and kicking yeah. legs and it's amazing to watch. Same thing as kickboxing more or less Muay Thai. It's, the hardest. it's way more than it's a the sport hardest. for them. Okay. Oh wait, that's the, the Greek guy, right there. Now we are seeing the very best at the King of Martial Arts and Buakal Porpremek just continues to add to his legacy. Right? It's the guy from Greece. The Greek. What's people, his name? Capacity crowd. The Globe and Arena. It is packed to the bursting point, yeah. Buakau put on a switch kick clinic. What's his name? Am I mixing them up? Oh, 
勝負ができなかったかもしれないとこういったことも発しています第2ラウンド鉄の拳は出るかやっぱり今ちょっとロスワのペースになってますね一発で終わらすのではなく連打で蹴っていけという話ですあーやっぱり Battering the man over and over until his body turned red with welts. He's the first spiritual man if you get to meet him. He fights first for his king, for his country. Here, he delivers the perfect counter left. A punch his opponent. Didn't see coming. Boom, perfect timing. With each fight, his legend grew. He returned to defend his titles in the 2005 Grand Prix. 史上初の連覇を狙う現世界王者ブアカオがリベンジを果たすのか。It was the golden era of kickboxing, and Buakao took on the best. Of the best. I mean, he is the best. Yeah, he, he, he looking at his journey. I need to relax. His first match was against Albert Kraus. Kraus was a champion from 2001. Round number one is underway. Let's see. It was more of the same. A whirling dervish of knees, kicks, elbows. Even if his opponents block his attacks, they are still left battered and bruised. He had advanced to his second straight K1 Grand Prix final. He'd take on Andy Sauer. It was a rough and tumble affair. <laughs> it looked like he don't want to be there. He's like, Buaka clearly delivered the most Let's get this over with. attacks. Buaka says that. He respects his opponent because he is multifaceted. Lots of clinching. Mm. Multi something. What, what does that mean? <laughs> But as with any combat sport, the judges really suck. He'd been denied his back-to-back -back title. Wow! Is that dirty? I don't know why、Rather、I'm so surprised. Sulk, but... He returned to the gym with even greater focus. He starts running at 5:30 a.m. Like a Muay Thai phoenix, rising again to scorch the hopes and dreams of would-be competition. <laughs> Imagine doing people dirty in their own sport. More elite version of kickboxing. Yeah, because it's elbows and knees. And a lot of clinch work, and a lot of dumping, where they trip you and slam you to the ground, and it's a hard sport, man. It it's is just, you feel as like, hard as it comes. I don't want to be that training. <laughs> Here is the return in the ring of the former king of K1 Max, nah, the living is... legend. He's an ambassador of the Thai culture. He's、uh, wearing his、uh, the Mon Khan. His coach is going to remove it now after he prays for him. I have a feeling. This is an experience that Calvo will never forget. Nice liver punch and drops him. Liver punch, sheesh. At this point, Buakao was already an icon of the sport. Oh, nice! Ah. 
And he punches oh, second crazy. shot to the liver. Drops David Calvo. He is in obvious pain. Bulacar gets it done. Aye, 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 aye. The first round. He fights for his king. What a liver punch. The legend is back home. Like what a story. Up. Buakau entered the 2006 K1 Max Grand Prix, seeking to recapture that? his stolen title. Yeah. He entered the tournament not as an underdog, I'm mad for him. but as top dog. Zach. Look at his face. He's like. <laughs> He need a title, but they took from him. The title, title, title. Guess His first match title. would be against an old rival, Yoshihiro Sato. Hands up high. Buakao stormed through his competition. It was remarkably not his kicks, but his boxing that yeah. dominated. He's been switching it up now the second time around. When they stole from him, he won't, he won't, he wanna hit it. You win. That's what she said. <laughs> Let's go now. Take back what's yours. His game had evolved, and the rest of the fighters were in big trouble. Mm -hmm. This set up a match with the famed Ivan Drago. Oh, no, wait, scratch that. It's Gago Drago. My, my bad. Gago Drago. <laughs> he put on a master class against Drago. Miss me! Ooh. Ooh. I... Using every tool in his repertoire. No, he to embarrassed thoroughly him. dominant. Ay, ay, ay. This is embarrassing. This set up the rematch with the man who had won the decision over Buakau last year, Andy Sauer. Get him. This time, mm. he wouldn't leave it in the judges' hands. No. I get chills now. It wasn't right at first. Look, look at his face. There you go. He blasted Sauer. No! There you knocking go. him down he again had to do it. and again. It's not his fault. They told him he had to do it. He didn't want it to be this way. Fighter to win the K1 World Max title on two different occasions. Exactly. Look at the difference with their appearance. This guy's come on. He's done. Finito. Adios. Done with. I know that felt good. Ooh, I got so much goosebumps. There you go. He was now the first ever two time K1 Max champion. He is the only man to have become Max's champion twice. His celebrity status ballooned. As I said, Bukow recently voted uh, by International Kickboxer magazine as pound for pound the best fighter in the world. Yeah. You have to. Who is better than this? Who? Come on! Remember the movie Kickboxer with Jean-Claude Van Damme? I used to remember thinking how badass this scene was. Till I saw Buakau <laughs> split a tree in half with one kick. When Ibu 
เขาจะมาตรวจบ้าน The sport's biggest superstar was fast becoming something of a fabled hero. But the people really come here tonight to see Bukau, they heard about him, they want to see him in action. Bukau, of course, the current uh, WMC world champion. And the question really is, who can take the world title from Bukau? Because uh, there's not too many men that... Uh, Maybe really later when he's not in his prime or something him, like this. Giving him uh, a challenge. As if the Muay Thai gods had personally molded this man. For one purpose. <laughs> to kick ass. Hey, hey, nah. <laughs> this guy doing wheels. <laughs> At the height of his powers, Boakal made a historic run of 62 wins to just five decision losses. With a career spanning over 18 years, the champions bound to teach him him. a lesson or two. Boakal Bobramo! While fighting the best fighters on the planet. In a sport where a single misstep can end your career, Buakau had never been stopped. Our next fighter is a legend in Muay Thai. Ladies love him. Fighters feel him. Guys like him too. We saw the man with the posters. His fights were events. Should be happy in coming up against him, being on that level. The royal family would come out. Fireworks, music. It was an entire production to honor and celebrate their greatest champion. Oh, wow. And while I went to this hammer, this is an atmosphere. We got about 15,000 people packed in the Globen Arena here. And Bukau, he's a real superstar. You see the people, they're getting up, they're giving him a standing ovation. Fantastic atmosphere. Of course, in Japan now, on the K1 circuit, is uh, undefeated. My stomach and, is growing. Uh, tonight I'm hungry. certainly will be Bukau showcasing why he is the greatest in the world. Stop. Put him to sleep. First round, right? First round. Here is the man, pound for pound, the world's greatest one. fighter at this current time. Bukau from Thailand. Hey! <laughs> He is renowned for his superior fighting skills. This is that I've been practicing every day about fighting Bukau. It don't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. 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 I do I know that hurts. He knows. I respect that. He's like, come on. I respect his reaction. He's like, of course he is. Spins a body. This guy was in the air. <laughs> he had to shake it off. 
Uh, you know it's bad, we gotta shake it off. Keep up this pace because they're going hard from the first round. Very unusual. Apaka will uh, counter fighting strategist. Another meeting with rival Sato. Wonder who he's going for. <laughs> In the final round, Buakao caught a knee to the liver. Sato pounced on the wounded white lotus. If you're still on your way down, you get punted in the head. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and it's legal. He said it's legal it was or the illegal. First time in his career, he did it say legal or illegal? I couldn't hear. Been knocked out. It was around this time that Buakau, so with legal. the aid of the royal family, was trying to be freed from his contract with his gym. It had been a vicious legal fight, as Buakau had shined a light on the corruption of these Muay Thai gyms, oh. who prey on children and steal their money. No, it'd be your own people. It'd be your own people too, like. Buakau would eventually be freed of his corrupt managers and founded his own gym. Mm, good, good. When, when the people in the sport build their own, that's good. So it's coming from within. That's perfect. So you know they're not gonna use and abuse. Ties have flown over to support Buakau in his return to that good. devastating knockout. The Muay Thai machine Buakau Paul Kramick makes his way to centering. You talk about experience, a K1 record of 19 and 4. An overall career record in Muay Thai of 216 fights. But Buakau is Crazy. traditionally a very slow starter. He's He'll still young. About that right hand. 28, 29? No. One kick there from the end. Oh, the big kibosh! I'm talking about here. I don't know how old The big kibosh! That was a beautiful left hook counter. He bounced back in style with the first round KO. Oh, what a moment this is! It is always one of the greatest pleasures to be ringside at a Buakau fight. 186 wins. He was knocked out for the first time ever in his career in 2008. By a Yoshihiro Sato right hand. His opponent would be the legendary King from PlayStation's Tekken. Duh. Oh, wait, huh. wait. I'm being told that it's actually Andre Dita and oh. not King from Tekken. No, My but bad. I, I knew that. I thought it was someone else and none of them. <laughs> Dita connected Brazil, oi tudo bem. Brazil. And nearly KO'd Buaka. He handled that one well, because I know okay. that that felt. The other upset was a huge upset. This would be a gargantuous upset. This would be a career-ending upset for Buakau. He could not recover if he gets knocked out here. It would be embarrassing, and he's going to get knocked out. Dita all over him like a fat kid on a cupcake here in the first round. Buakau has taken more punishment than a bondage parlor. How is he still standing? I have no idea. It's crazy. Oh. We go to the towels. Miraculously, Buakau survived the round and collected himself. This is more like there's no counter there. You definitely don't want to take a challenge with Buakau. is going to dump you 10 times out of 10. In the second, Dita's opportunity Liver. was gone. Buakau repeatedly oh, connected. Big leg kick from Buakau, showing no respect for the lead thigh of the Brazilian. Right, Rick James. 
Oh, oh did, right. did his feeling. Yeah, did his feeling. Uh, Buckow is slowly, you know, obviously taking over this fight, but he's also taking the fight out of Dida. Ooh, a high left round kick from Buckow. Manhandling Dida and erasing any memory of the first round. Game plan for the first three minutes. He almost caused a oh, major he's upset. Done. Yeah. That would have had Brazilian. serious he's ramifications finito. for Buakau. It may very well have ended Buakau's K1 Max career. Buakau survived and advanced to the next round of the K1 Grand Prix. Again, eat face Andy Sauer. Andy Sauer! Buakau thoroughly dominated good this here. match. Good here. Where's he now? There's the tape kick again in the midsection. Third Beautiful time. Catch and sweep. He beat Sour around the ring. It wasn't even close. Ben Sauer has no answer for him. He, has no, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know if he can he should come, he should go, he should stay. What? It wasn't even a debate. And yet... I'll do the fair thing. Give it to no. Stop you already it. know where I'm going with this. What? We called it, Mike. We called it. What? Are you... goes through. He was robbed. I'm disappointed. How this can it be so obvious? Highway robbery. In my what? opinion. Boakau should have won three or four straight K1 Max titles. Won ten straight what? Since losing to another very no. talented fighter, Andy Sauer, in the semifinals of the 2009 How K1 World Max be? Final, and he's already won his first I might sound naive, but this, this is what is so obvious. Can be People said just letting it happen. Boakau, poor Premick. I haven't recovered from the previous In the closing years of his career, he traveled the world, knocking out the best fighters on the planet. With a record of 197 wins. So far, like, we see it's crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the White Lotus, Bukal Sparkle. His fans cheered and revered him. Girls ran up to the ring to give him flowers. The main event for the WMC <laughs> World Junior. Was the boyfriend? No, just kidding. The <laughs> title. The Buakau Poor Premick Party here in California tonight. He's like, we taking them back. Yep. <laughs> they probably just holding. Them. A true superstar in Thailand, Buakau had transcended sport. And become something much more than an athlete. He was an inspiration to martial artists around the globe. I'm not even in this, and I'm, I'm inspired. Like, come on. His name is forever etched in the. Nah, I missed it. We gotta, we gotta check. <laughs> Look at the ref! <laughs> bow, bow. Look at the ref! <laughs> Whose name is forever etched in the sport's history. Oh, he 
giving up yet. Finito. Wow. Wow, what a what a journey. Wow to that one too. Oh. Oops. I saw his life flash. Oh, that's scary. The white lotus. Never surrender. Sheesh. Nobody brings it home like Joe. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Boaco. Sheesh. Just stand where you guys wanted me to check him out. Oh my god, I'm just. This does it all. I didn't like how they did him dirty, but he just kept coming back and just. Wow. Well, I mean, coming back. Like, he, even when he won, the, and they didn't let him. Like, wow, it's just crazy. Could you guys hear that? My stomach is growling. I need to go and eat something. But thank you if you made it till the end and watched this video together with me. Eh. Uh... I loved it. I hope you guys did too. Like, comment, subscribe, all of this stuff. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Appreciate you watching. Bye. Now, food time. I'm going to make some chicken and rice.